Hi everyone, welcome back, I hope you're all doing well. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make one of these really cute seed bead pumpkins. And you can make this pumpkin using tiny size 11 beads like this one, or size 8 or size 6. So, let's get started. So to make one of these pumpkins you'll need two different colours of the same size seed bead, one for your pumpkin and one for your stock. And again you can use size 11, size 8 or size 6. You'll also need some £6 fire line and your beading needle. So to begin thread your needle with about an arm span's length of fire line, pick up four of your first colour seed bead and slide those down. And then you're going to sew up through the first one. Next you're going to take one seed bead and go straight into the next one. And you're going to do that three more times. So pick up a bead and go straight into the next bead. Again do exactly the same thing. And when it comes to adding your last bead, you're going to go through the next one and also step up into the one above, ready to begin the next round. So now you have this. So this time we're going to be adding two seed beads, so pick up your first two and go into the next bead that's on the corner. And do that three more times. So again, you're picking up two seed beads, skipping over one bead and going into the next one. And again, exactly the same again. And when you get to add in the last two of the round, you'll do the same again. So you'll come out of that bead, skip one, go into the next one and also up into the one above. Just like that. And there we have it. So now we're going to be putting a bead between those groups of two that we added last time. And then also filling the spaces between those here as well. So if you pick up your first bead and coming out of one go directly into the next bead. And now we've got to fill that little gap there. So we're going to pick up a bead and this time skip the one underneath and go into the following bead. So again here we're between one of those little groups of two so you're going to pick up your bead and go straight into the next bead along like that. And you're just going to do that all the way around until you get to the end. So again we're filling that gap so skip a bead and into the next one don't forget when you get between a group of two you just go straight into the next bead. So go ahead and do that until you get to the end of the round. So here I'm just going to add the last bead so don't forget again to step up into the row above. Like that. So now you've got this. So again we're picking up two beads each time, so pick up your first two beads and go into the next one that's sticking up in that row. Again, so you're coming out of this one, skip the one underneath and into the next one, picking up two beads every time. And do that all the way around, fill in all of those gaps. Okay, so when you've done that and you get to the end of the row, here I'm just adding my last two of the round, so skip one into the next one and also step up into the one above. Always step up so that you're ready to start the new round, just like that. And then you want to sew straight through the next bead so you're in position to add more beads into the round. So what we're going to be doing is filling in these gaps and this time treating those groups of two as if they were one bead. So pick up one of your seed beads and go straight through the next group of two. 
like that. And do that again, pick up one bead, skip the one underneath and go through the next group of two. Um, again, pick up one bead, skip one underneath and go through the next two beads. And you're just going to do that all the way around. So here I'm just about to add the last bead of that round. So we're coming out of one, skip one, go through the next two beads as we have done all the way around and then step up into that one above, that first one we added in this row. Just like that, so you're going through three beads. So now we have this. So now we're going to start bringing it in. So pick up one bead, coming out of this one here you're going to go through that next one that's right on the corner, so you're going to skip two and go into the next one that's sticking out. Just like that and you're going to pick up one more bead, so again you're going to go into the next single bead that's sticking up, so you'll skip two underneath and go into the next one. So again skip those two go into the next one and just going to keep doing that all the way around again until you get to the end of this round. So once you get to the end of the round and you're adding your last bead you're going to skip the two underneath, go through the next one and also up into that one above like that. And now you need to pull it tight and it will start to close in, as you can see. Okay, so for this row you need to pick up two seed beads and it's really important that you pay attention to which row you're working on. There's quite big gaps between them so it's easy to go through the wrong bead. But what you need to do is come out of this one, skip that one underneath and go through the next one that's sticking up. And if you turn it on its side sometimes it's easier to see. So again pick up two beads, coming out of this one, skip the one underneath and go through the next one on the top row. And you're going to do that all the way around again until you get to the end of the row skipping one underneath and going into the next one. So when you add the last two of the rows, do the same again, skip the one underneath, go through the next one and then up through the next two that are on the top row now, like that. Pull it really tight and you should have this. So now for this row you're going to be adding one bead, so pick up one and you're going to be going through those groups of two that we added in the last row and treating them as if they were one bead again. So you're coming out of this bead here, you're going to skip one and go through the next two beads, like that. And do that all the way around. It's not as obvious this time which ones are sticking up, which ones are in the top row. So you just remember that you come out of a bead, skip over the next one, and go through the following two and then your pattern should still work out. So just go ahead and do that all the way around, adding one bead and going through two. So 
So here I'm just going to add the last bead of my round, so I'm going to skip one, go through two, and also step up into the one above. So go through three beads in total. Like that. And then you should have this, and it's looking like a little fruit basket. So now we're coming out of this bead, we're going to skip over the two underneath and go through the next one. And you want to pick up one bead this time. And again, coming out of a bead, skip the two underneath and go through the next one. And for this row it is a bit easier to see which ones you're going through because they do, if you turn it on its side, they do stick up. So do that all the way around and then when you reach the end of the row like I have here, you're going to go through your final bead and also step up into the row above, as always. And then pull it really tight and now we have this, it's starting to close up. So for this row you're going to pick up one bead and it can get a little bit tricky to see where you are at this point so you just have to concentrate and you're going to skip one underneath and go through the next one. Now without picking up another bead, you're going to do the same again. So you're going to come in out of the bead, skip the one underneath and go through the next one without adding another bead. So it creates a little bridge of thread. Now pick up your next bead, skip the one underneath and go through the next. And then again, without adding a bead, coming out of this one, skip the next one and into the following bead. So for this row, you're just alternating adding a bead and then not adding a bead, if that makes sense. So again, this time you're adding a bead. And then without picking one up, you're going to do the same again. Hopefully that makes sense. And now adding the last bead of the round. And then finish it off with just sewing through the next bead and also stepping up into the bead above without adding a bead like that. And I hope that made sense, it's a bit confusing. So now we're putting one bead between those last four that we added. You can see where those bridges of thread have just pulled together. So pick up your bead, you're going to skip those two underneath and go through the next bead. And do the same again. Pick up one bead, skip those two underneath which we just joined together with a bridge of thread and go through the following bead. And you're going to do that two more times to get to the end of the row. And here for the last one, so skip those two underneath again, go through the next one, and also up into the bead above. Just like that, pull it really tight. And now you want to sew through those last four beads a few times just to really secure them and bring them together. So then you should have this. And now we just need to add the stalk. So make sure you're exiting out of one of those last four beads and then pick up three of your green beads or whatever colour you're using, coming out of this bead and go into it in the other side to make a circle. That, now turn your piece and sew through the next bead in that little square on the top. And now pick up two more of your green beads, coming out of that orange one and you're going to go down through the green one that we just added and also through the orange one we're coming out of already 
like that. So now turn your piece again and go through the next bead in that little square on the top. And now you're going to do the same thing again. Pick up two green beads coming out of the orange one on the bottom. Go down through this green one and also through the orange. Just like that. And this is essentially just cubic right angle weave if you've ever done that. So now I'll go through the last bead in that little square and up through the green one just there. And so now we've got one final green bead to add and it will just make a little group of four on the top. So pick up your last green bead and coming out of this green one go through the one on the other side. sit on the top like that. Now you can sew through that orange one on the bottom again and up into the green and then what you want to do is just sew through those four that are on the top to join them all together and make it really secure. So once you've done that then this is the finished pumpkin. And so now all you need to do is go ahead and sew back through your piece, sew through as many beads as you can to make it really tight and secure, and then go ahead and tie your knots and do the same thing to your tail thread as well. So there we go, that's it, our finished pumpkins. I think they look really cute. I really like the tiny, tiny size 11 C bead one <laughs> the best. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Leave any questions, comments down below. Let me know what else you'd like to see and join me next time hopefully. Subscribe if you want to see more of my Halloween videos that are coming up soon. And follow me on Instagram at Beading by Hannah and share anything there that you make from my videos. I love to see it. And thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.